Hey folks, Gary Bunzer here. We are at the family reunion in Redmond, Oregon. I'm with Martin Perlot from Silverleaf Electronics and he's got some amazing things you need to see on this Class A diesel pusher. Martin, show us what this thing is. Well, Gary, uh, we've been at this for a lot of years and what we've always been about is showing folks how to make the most out of their diesel engine. Mm -hmm. Most of us, we've learned how to drive a gas, uh, gas engines growing up and we step into our diesel coaches and we expect that back there it's just going to run like it's a big gas engine. <laughs> but diesels are not big gas not, engines. They're not the same thing, are they? They aren't, okay. not at all. And so here, uh, in, we're in, sitting in a Newmar coach and they understand diesel very, very well. And so one thing that Newmar provides and we provide for them is our Silverleaf VMS 330. Now what does VMS actually stand for? Vehicle Monitoring System. So literally you're, ta you're taking a look because of the way the system is configured mm -hmm. at literally every single component and how it interplays with each other. Yep, and in particular, everything that's going on under the covers out in that engine compartment. Mm. So it's all your temperatures and pressures literally to the degree, mm -hmm. your fuel economy, mm -hmm. your performance, your trip information, diagnostics. If you pay any kind of attention to this, you will learn how your engine really wants to be driven, mm -hmm. how it really wants to be treated. So You'll you can track data over a period of time? Absolutely. You will learn your coach and if you treat that diesel like a diesel, not like a gas, <laughs> You'll get better fuel economy, you'll get uh, the engine will wear better, you'll yeah. have fewer problems, you'll have better performance, get up the hill a little faster. Yeah. Uh, and um, Now I, I know that. a lot of our members understand the difference between gasoline and diesel, mm -hmm. but what would be the say the top item of the most most important difference between gas and diesel that gets misunderstood okay. the most? Well, let's talk about this. You know, most of us in our cars, we don't worry so much about overheating. We only overheat if something breaks. But in a diesel, we have a lot more energy being put out, which means there's a lot more heat going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're pushing a lot more weight. Mm -hmm. And we don't have the benefit of a car. You have the radiator up front getting what we call ram air. Mm -hmm. But in a diesel, the diesel pusher, every bit of air has to be fanned through a radiator. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're always, we have to watch our heat with right. the diesel. Right. Now, we do have a coolant gauge. Every diesel pusher Show has a coolant gauge. Show me on the panel gauge. here where that coolant gauge okay. is. But what we have more important than a coolant gauge See, think about coolant's the last thing in the engine that gets hot. That's true. What we're going to watch is the first thing in the engine that gets hot. That extra heat in, the, in a diesel is coming from your turbo. Ah. As you need more power heading up the hill to push this 40,000 pound coach. Mm -hmm. oh, the, you can see it, it right there on the mm -hmm. The engine the kicks in the turbo. Uh -huh. and that turbo is a big air compressor which generates heat. Uh -huh. And we'll show that. We'll show the turbo boost pressure. And the more boost you're using, the higher the pressure, the more heat's being generated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we'll show that in what's called the intake manifold temperature. Which is crucial. That's yeah. the crucial. That's yeah. the first thing in the engine compartment that gets hot. That's amazing. And if you watch that manifold temperature, that's your early warning. Yeah. And you'll see that rise minutes before you see the coolant that's temperature great. rise. So I noticed that. Uh, this 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 whole system is, is highly customizable. Absolutely it is. Yeah. This what's new about this VMS 330 is it lets us integrate it right into the video if for the monitor that's already in the dash of this coach. Mm -hmm. This makes it something that's very easy for us to do as an aftermarket installation. Mm -hmm. We can put this in almost any uh, diesel pusher that's with a, uh, as long as it has an electronic engine and we don't have to cut up your dash at all. We just have to find a place for this little keyboard. <laughs> And so it's a great aftermarket item, and it's also, of course, out the best as a uh, unit straight from the factory from right. companies like Newmark. Right. Well, well, Martin, thank you so much. I know a lot of our viewers are going to be quite interested in this new product. There you have it, folks, from the 90th Family Reunion from beautiful downtown Redmond, Oregon.